how do you teach improv if everything is made up and the points don't matter then do you have any golden rules any 10 commandments that you use that you teach your students it's it's a, you know it's a matter of kind of understanding what you need to do when and so like when it comes to the beginning you have to kind of understand what are the first things people have to learn to start to improvise together and so so much of it's just kind of like putting things in order you know in the lesson so it's like you're not going to do a herald on day one you know what i mean yeah. you're trying to get people to yes and and you're just trying to get people to play that's the first thing it's like let's just be playful you know let's let's um let's you know just be in the room together um let's have some laughs so people relax um and then you know the exercises are built to teach the lesson so I don't end up giving a lot of notes when I teach early level classes because um, really, you know, it's just in the activity. You have to just do it. And then the reward is getting laughs and succeeding. So that kind of reinforces the lesson. So you get classical conditioning there, you know, you get, um, you know, so you start to learn. It's like, oh yeah, you know, when I, yes, and people, I get laughs. Like you just, it sneakily starts to kind of condition you like, in a way you're socializing people to this community, like here in this village, this is what we do. We support each other. We listen, we yes. And we are not afraid to share. So you're doing like some very basic things that, um, don't have any like easily identifiable, identifiable object objectives, um, on the surface, you know, that, that, um, you know, and so the way you measure success is kind of different when you're teaching a beginning class, you know, um, uh, whereas like later on, you know, you're trying to achieve much more specific kind of goals. And so the exercises are kind of just scaled up to um, reflect what, what you're trying to do on each level, you know. Um, and so in the beginning, it's just like, let's just play. When it gets to things like doing long forms, you know, um, in order to do long form structures, it helps to do good solid scene work, you know, cause the scene work is the bricks. Those are the building blocks. Um, and so if those are shaky, the whole structure kind of falls. So you end up doing a lot of scene work in the middle levels, you know, um, you know, it isn't just learn how to start a scene is about like really learn how to have a point of view and how to sustain that point of view and start to play games, you know, which yeah. really has to do with like hold on to your character's intentions. Um, and then, um, then just teaching ideas of ensemble, you know, that how to, how do you, how do you be your best in the group, but then also collaborate with people, you know, that, you know, when to step out, be in the scene and when to hang back, when to just do some support work and when to, you know, uh, and so you start teaching the idea of ensemble and then getting the group to do games where you kind of learn how to to pick up each other's moves and yeah. do things that are not pre-planned, yeah. you know, uh, and you start slowly giving people insights into, you know, improv lessons, things that they could have done better. You know, you start giving them notes. So, you know, so in many ways it's like learning a language that it's like, first you just start speaking, you know, it's just like ball cup this, you know, and then it's kind of more about the rituals of things. It's just like, uh, um, you know, can I go outside or where's the restaurant? You know, and then, gets more sophisticated, you know, start learning about syntax and increase the vocabulary and, you know, sense structure, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, but you can't, the mistake early teachers make is that they, they put these advanced lessons too early or, you know, or they're not, or they're afraid to kind of go back to basics, you know, in a higher level class where you just kind of need people like, okay, you know, we're getting a little bit, you know, uh, disconcerted or we're not, we're not like, let's just go back to simple things, you know? 